Asmon, you, you guys think I'm gonna go over to YouTube? Man, wouldn't that be crazy if I went over to YouTube? Oh my god, we gotta talk a little bit about Saikuno going to YouTube. So this has been happening a whole lot, and I've been, uh, no, I've been really surprised by this. And the reason why is that whenever I saw this, uh, uh, whenever I saw this, the, the, the announcement, and we'll watch the announcement and everything like that too. Who? Guys, it, um, he's a very popular streamer. He's, he's extremely popular. I, I, I know, I know that you might not watch him, but, um, you, you, you know, like, yeah, that, that's, yeah, he's a very popular streamer. A lot of people know, uh, who he is. Uh, yeah, yeah, not my streamer. And ironically, you? Oh, yeah, no, some people don't know. I get it. And so, anyway, Saikuno moved over to YouTube. I didn't think that's what was happening. I was completely misled. I was wrong. I, I thought he was having, he was, like, going through some shit or something like that, right? Turns out he is going through some shit. He's going through contract negotiations. He's going over to YouTube. That's a big fucking congrats, guys. I, I think so. I think that's a huge big deal. And in my opinion, I think the more people that go over to YouTube and the more people that are going to different streaming platforms, the better. Right now, I think that Twitch does not innovate their website as much as they should because they feel like they have a, a monopoly over live streaming. Uh, I do not think this is the uh, th this is a long-term strategy. I don't think this is going to happen in general. It's an L for Twitch streamers. It is, but that's actually a W for Twitch streamers because eventually Twitch will have to actually start making content and, and a product that people want to watch. And I think this will obviously take a while. I'll certainly say that for sure. Would you move to YouTube? Would I ever move to YouTube for any situation ever? Of course I would. Am I actively looking at moving to YouTube now? No, I'm not. Uh, right now, I, I the thing is like my YouTube channel does incredibly well. Both of my channels do incredibly well. I don't necessarily, uh, I, I don't need to move over to YouTube. The way I look at it is like right now I'm double dipping. I literally put no work into YouTube and my stream puts all the work into it. And so I'm effectively t building two platforms at once. I'm hitting two audiences at the same time. So it's a big positive for me to have Twitch and I can do stuff on Twitch as well. However, um, you know, is there ever a world where I would go to YouTube? Yeah, sure. I mean, like, I, I don't really want to write anything off, but it's not something that I'm planning on at this exact moment moment. Uh, what I think is really going to happen is you're going to see more and more people coming over to, uh, you're going to see more and more people coming over to YouTube and these other platforms because they just offer better incentives. Uh, I think also, um, negotiating on stream smart. Well, look, I, it, it's not negotiating on stream. I'm just saying, I think this is the same for anybody, right? I mean, I don't like to write a blank check, but if YouTube wants to write me one, then I guess I might return the favor. That's all I'm saying. And so listen, I, I'm not going to worry about that too much. I think that, uh, you know, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, I'm kind of an edgy creator and, uh, you know, a lot of that stuff. Twitch is smoother, man. I think that YouTube has a lot of positives. Uh, I think that YouTube in the long run will have more positives just because it has so much more infrastructure and they just are so much bigger than Twitch. Like, for example, your ceiling on Twitch is like here. Your ceiling on YouTube is like up here, right? We're not going to see somebody get 50,000, 50 million uh, followers on, on Twitch in like the next probably five years. Uh, but meanwhile, we're seeing a lot of people hit that on YouTube because the ceiling is just simply higher. Uh, the Vigorous Bot with the five gifted community subs. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like, you have to think about, like, Ninja, right? I think he's still the most subscribed uh, person here, or sorry, uh, follow-up person on Twitch. Uh, you know, he only had, I think it was like 7 or 8 million or something like that. It's not that many. And so I think that going over to YouTube is a, uh, it's a good decision for a lot of people because also, um, it's, it's very different than going over to Mixer or I think even going over to Facebook. And the big difference for it, it with it to me is the fact that YouTube doesn't really kill your, uh, it doesn't kill your channel in the same way that, that Twitch would kill your channel or sorry, Mixer would kill your channel or going to, uh, you know, Facebook gaming or something like that would kill your channel. So like, for example, yes, it does tell that to Ludwig. Um, and, and anyway, like the, uh, tell that to Doc or Tim, like all of these guys are tremendously, they're tremendously successful on YouTube so there's no reason to, uh, to to be worried about that who won the soccer I don't know what the soccer even is to be honest with you Facebook live Lamal listen it happened though who uses Facebook anymore I heard that it's actually really really popular in like a weird way in Europe I had no idea about this that's what it is you're not edgy at all compared to big YouTube streamers basically no word policing on YouTube it's more free yeah I think so but like I mean I don't know 
I, I feel like it would be unlikely that uh, that they would want to give me a contract, so I'm not that worried about it. Now, I'm happy streaming here on Twitch. I think it's totally fine. For me, I'm going to be honest. The difference between me streaming on Twitch and YouTube is a different stream key. I don't give a fuck. Like, it doesn't matter. I, I know that there are some people that are, for some reason, loyal to uh, to Twitch. Uh, I, I find this to be silly. Um, but, I, you know, to me, I just, uh, I'm going to go with ever, wherever, you know, something popular is going to be, right? Wherever I think people want me to be. And uh, that's all there is to it. A lot of people have been streaming on YouTube. Twitch is definitely better. The only reason people go to YouTube is money. Um, that is true, but I think that it's becoming less and less true. And so here's, I, I, actually, I've got to go back. Like, we got to, oh my God, we got to talk about so much about YouTube. I didn't even realize this. Holy shit. We got to talk a lot about, you might be less popular, get more money. So, so each stream I do on Twitch gets like a one to two million views, right? Somewhere around there. Like we can just average that. So let's say each stream gets like 1.2 million views. Uh, I stream, uh, let's see, like five days a week, four weeks. So let's say 23 days. So 23 times 1.2. Uh, let's see, how much is that going to be? That's going to be like 25 or 26 million. Um, my YouTube channel, that's 26 million views a month on my channel here on Twitch. On YouTube, I have gotten that many views in a week. Like, I've gotten that many views in a fucking week between, like, my, uh, the Asmongold Clips channel and the Asmongold TV channel. Yeah, I, my YouTube is way fucking bigger than my Twitch. Like, I just, honestly, I just go on here just to, to record YouTube videos, guys. Like, I'm gonna be honest. It's not the same, though. Uh, yeah, it is. Trust me. Like, I, I'm the one that gets the checks. It's the same. And so, listen, it, it's fine. Actually, to be honest... Uh, well, I, I don't want to get it. I don't want to get a lot of that. But like, listen, we we have a lot of uh, well, it's difference. Yeah, I mean that's the truth. So like, it is the same. It works quite well. But anyway, I do think that Twitch is a uh, it's a, it's a smaller pond, right? And YouTube is a uh, is a very big ocean. So let's watch the video from Saikuno here. There's a lot. Oh my God, I'm just I'm thinking about all the stuff that I want to talk about with this. I didn't even realize it was so much stuff, man. And so uh, all those things you miss on stream, you watch on YouTube. That's good. Exactly. Yeah. Well, let me go back over here. We're gonna take a look at it. Okay guys. How much do you pay McConnell? Um, I, I I don't pay McConnell. Okay, like listen McConnell has a really good system set up McConnell system is this So he will stream everybody knows this right? He streams every six months once for rent money and It has this perfect equilibrium Because it gets literally everyone to subscribe because there are people that like McConnell so they want to subscribe to support his content. And then there's also people who don't like McConnell and they want to subscribe to make him go away faster. Because the faster he gets his money, the faster he's gone. You don't have to worry about him anymore. So like, let's start gifting some subs. Let's get this shit out of the way, right? We're going to get rid of this guy. And, and so you can pay to make him, you can pay because you like the content or you can pay to make him leave. Either way, McConnell's making money. That's all there is to it. So uh, yeah, small brand viewers, that's what it is. I bought him a computer. Yeah, yeah, got me a course, right? I mean, if McConnell ever needed another computer, we get we do a computer uh, giveaway for him. No problem, man. That'd be no big deal. Uh, but yeah, it just depends on if he, if he wants one or not. Uh, lots of small videos versus one big stream will obviously get more views. Very true. All right, let's watch the video, okay? Here we go. I've actually not watched this. Is that a this cock shed? is where it all started. Grandma's shed? tiny shed, shed in my parents' backyard. Close enough. I never planned on becoming a streamer. So, if I ever get one of these videos done, if I ever do move over to YouTube, I'm not gonna make it this, like, overly produced thing. I'm gonna make it where, like, I'm at Taco Bell and I'm like, Yeah, guys, so, uh, anyway, uh... I'm on the phone. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video. Uh, so YouTube gave me a lot of money, and so uh, uh, I'm gonna be on uh, tomorrow on YouTube because they gave me a lot of money. So I'll see you there. All right, peace. And, and that'll be it, you know. <laughs> the treehouse video. Yeah, yeah. I, I I love how dramatic the videos are, man. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to play some games and make some friends. That's and nice. I did.
started off playing League. Ooh. Then Minecraft. Ooh. Valorant. Among Us. GTA. I met some cool people and made some really good friends. He's talking about and me, probably. I met all of you guys. Psych. Are you ready to go? Yeah, uh, one sec. do what I've always done, just in a new place. That was pretty good. I mean, I'll have to say, like, I mean, the music, I mean, fuck, was he going to YouTube or is he saving, like, a, a, a sinking ship full of uh, kittens and, like, uh, you know, pregnant women? Right? Like, what is this? Like, I mean, the music is just, like, it, I, I feel like I'm watching Interstellar. God damn. I mean, am I am I wrong? Am I fucking wrong? Like, well, oh my god. And, and so what well, we're talking? No, I, I think it's it, it doesn't like, people cringe at this shit. Like, there's like three million people that watch this. Everybody thought it was great. Just cause you cringe, oh my god, he's being dramatic. It's a big deal for him, man. It is. Obviously, it might not be a big deal for you, but it's a huge step for a content creator to make to do something like this. So I, I can see where he's coming from. I definitely can. It's still cringe. I don't get I I just Bro, like, I forgot the last time I cringed at something. Like, I, that not that is that weird? Like, I have no idea. L Ludwig's new Mogul Man, the pros and cons of YouTube. I watched that. I, I, I love Ludwig's personal videos, man. I think they're fucking great. Uh, I'll watch those in a few minutes. But let me finish this one first, okay? I just got here. Rewatch it, please. So basically, uh, he's like, I'm a YouTube. I used to stream in a shed. I made some friends. Uh, basically, uh, then there's uh, Valkyrie is here. And then I'm going to YouTube. So that's that's pretty much the video. I know obviously you missed it, but uh, there you go. And so uh, that that's it. You don't want to watch again? No, I think the video is fine. It was pretty well produced. Everything like that. Absolutely. Uh, the, what's this here? Audacity. Rewatch it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think YouTube makes it over makes them overproduce an announcement video? Do you, do I think YouTube makes them overproduce an announcement video? I don't think so at all. I think that they probably have like this is what they want to do by default because they think that's the best option. But um, I think that the content creator has like another vision on things. Uh, I think it's completely fine. Uh, also like. Yeah, I don't think it's a, it's not a big deal, if that makes sense. It's not, uh, what's this here? Valk said he wanted to do it. Yeah, I think it was fine. And uh, you watched any of the, uh, High Roller Poker game? No, I never watched any of that stuff. Uh, you see what this guy's coast said about other creators playing to move over? Yeah, I actually have it open here. I'm gonna, I, I saw this, uh, whenever I got on this morning, and I was gonna watch that today, too. But anyway, it's not a surprise to see Saikuno leave. I think that, you know, a lot of people in his friend group that he collabs with are already on YouTube. It makes sense for him to go over to YouTube. I think that, really, when is YouTube actually going to be a... When is YouTube going to be a big platform that can actually compete with Twitch? And I will tell you exactly whenever YouTube will become a big platform that will compete with Twitch on live streaming. The moment that people move over to YouTube without a seven-figure contract. That's when. Because right now, everybody that's going over to YouTube, everybody that's streaming over on YouTube, all of these guys, they're doing this because they're getting paid. And like you have exceptions, right? You have someone like Speed. Speed got banned on Twitch. He went over to YouTube. He's doing better than ever. You have Dr. Disrespect. Got banned on Twitch. Went over to YouTube. He's doing well. You have people like Ice Poseidon. The fact is, listen. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ice Poseidon was doing incredibly fucking well on YouTube. And the only reason Ice Poseidon's stream started doing worse is because of Ice Poseidon. It had nothing to do with YouTube. 
Ice Poseidon would have hit the same fucking, the, the same thing would have happened on Twitch because it was the content. The content, you, you, you can't keep upping the ante, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, Ice changed his content. Well, he, it, it, the content changed him as well. It was a bad, it was a bad situation, right? And that's why I think a lot of people liked watching it, but it's also the reason why it didn't have the same level of longevity as something like sitting around and playing video games. So, like, all I'm saying is that uh, Ice Poseidon did incredibly well on YouTube. I, I think that on YouTube, you have a lot of opportunities to make content. And I think also, especially with these content creators, it's probably just easier for them to just, uh, you know, go live and not have to worry about it. I was fan yeah, I mean, obviously, everybody was crazy. Like, I mean, the Ice Poseidon days were absolutely insane. Killed his own stream. What I'm saying is that it wasn't YouTube that killed his stream. Now, obviously, maybe on Twitch, it would have been easier for him to bounce back. It's really hard to say. Now we're talking about, like, theoretical theoreticals. But um, I think, in general, it's something that I would assume is that there are people that are on YouTube that are doing well. But what I'm saying is that you're not going to have people that stay and go over to YouTube voluntarily until... Like, you see content creators of a larger size doing the same thing. Now, in my opinion, I think that if Twitch removes exclusivity from its partner contracts, I feel like that's the worst thing that Twitch can do. And I don't think this is a good... I think it's good for content creators, but it's bad for Twitch. It's actually bad for Twitch. And, and you want to know why I think it's bad for Twitch? Because who the fuck is going to sit there and watch a Twitch stream with the ads one of six... Boom, 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 boom. You gotta watch another fucking ad. After that, another fucking ad. Oh, and then, by the way, after the two minutes and 30 seconds or three minutes of ads uh, is done playing, now uh, it doesn't reload the video because the player is inferior. Meanwhile, Twitch doesn't have ads like that in the same way. There's no requirement for people to run ads on YouTube, as far as I know, for live streaming, uh, as there is with Twitch and large, a lot of larger, other large content creators. A and then also, uh, the video quality is just simply better. Like, what is the maximum bit rate that you can stream at on YouTube? Like, I, I, I think that it's something, it's something very, very high. I don't remember exactly what it is, though. Former Red Claw with the 20 gifted community subs. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, 12K. No, it's not for, oh, oh, no, bit rate. I'm talking about bit rate, not, uh, not resolution, guys. Uh, 16K. Yeah, so you can stream at 16K. That's nuts, man. Also, ads are way better on YouTube. You're right about that. Because you can click to skip an ad on YouTube. Uh, you can, uh, you're not always going to get an ad that's 30 seconds long and they're just like cascading down and down and down. So like YouTube just has a much better ad structure. So like why would there be, like what is the value add here? Let me, let me ask you a very simple question. What is the value add in watching a stream on Twitch versus YouTube if you can watch the same stream at the same time? You see what I'm saying? Chat? Right. I've always said that I don't think chat matters as much as chat think chat's ma chat matters. I will also say this. Even if you disagree with that, what is an easier problem to solve? Your business model and your core software technology or a chat box? I mean... Yeah, chat box is a lot fucking easier problem to solve. Uh, there you go. Mm. It's a simple fix. I think so too. I absolutely, I absolutely think so. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can fix chat box with add-ons. Oh, I'm sure you can. Uh, we're unsolvable. YouTube chat's a plus. Honestly, Twitch chat is terrible. And yes, you've also got to, you've got people like that who actively dislike Twitch chat for whatever reason. So yes, yeah, Saikuno moving over to YouTube, and uh, also, it's just gonna keep coming. Watch this. Watch this. Here we go. YouTube browse page is horrible navigate. Yes, it's very bad. Um, people said Twitch had discoverability. YouTube, very competitive. Tried to beat them in that angle. And I think that they are winning. Here we go. Um, Disguised Toast knows of five more streamers. At least five more streamers moving to YouTube. Okay, here we go. Is this lag? There we go. Um... Why is it lag? Why why does this lag? Why 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 can I not just I watch the clip? What well, what is this like? Like so, yeah. Remember what I was just saying? Um, I know of at least five more people going over, which is a lot, honestly. That's a whole lot of people. Chat, go ahead and guess who the five are. <laughs>
<laughs> I like how he just invites the fucking speculation, man. Oh my god. And, and like, yeah, it's so you're seeing a lot of people going over to YouTube, man. Like, and, and that's what's going to happen. Yeah, it, it's going to be Asmon. You, you guys think I'm going to go over to YouTube? Man, wouldn't that be crazy if I went over to YouTube? Wow. OTV. I think that a lot of, I, I feel like, listen, I think the guys that work at YouTube are really smart. I do. I think that they're really smart. They are analytically driven um, and, and everything like that. Like these guys really, really understand their shit and, and they really know what they're doing because YouTube is the first platform to actually try to build a section. And now uh, didn't Facebook do the same thing? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Facebook pick up a bunch of, uh, of GTA content creators pretty much at the same time? Uh, didn't they do this? I'm, I'm pretty sure that they did. Yes, yes, they did. And so they did this after Twitch. Uh, sorry, after YouTube did from Twitch. So here's what the problem is with these other content creator websites, whether it be Mixer, Facebook, YouTube, etc. And you see YouTube and Facebook trying to break the mold and stop doing this. Is that um, YouTube, you, you, there's Mixer, you cannot, if you are Twitch is an ecosystem it is a forest it is a living breathing thing and you cannot take the biggest redwood tree in the whole forest which was ninja at the time he was a big fucking tree a massive girthy meaty fucking tree and you cannot just take that tree and transplant it into the middle of the desert and then expect it to flourish that tree is going to um, wilt and die. You need the smaller trees. You need the bushes. You need the bugs. You need the shrubs. You need the grass. You need the dirt. You need the birds, the monkeys, uh, the, the, I don't know, like cats or fucking like uh, the tigers or some shit, right? And so you need the whole ecosystem in order for that gigantic fucking tree to survive. Even though, even though, it's a big tree, it's the biggest tree out there. And what, what Mixer did is they brought in people that were just one big tree. They didn't think about building an ecosystem. They didn't think about where our viewers going to go after they get done watching Ninja for the day. I mean, he's been cranking 90s for three hours now, guys. Maybe let's go see what else is on. And so somebody goes to check what else is on. There's nothing else going on on the website. YouTube did this better with their strategic acquisitions of Tim the Tatman and Dr. Lupo. Because guess what happens? Courage plays with Doc. Doc plays with the other Doc, Dr. Lupo. <laughs> Dr. Lupo plays with Tim, and Tim plays with Courage. And then Courage plays with Tim and, and Dr. Lupo. And it, it, you, you see, it's like a circle jerk, right? And like that's how you keep the viewers in the ecosystem. But whenever you only have one person in the ecosystem, then you're not really going to have any retention at all. And I think that's what ends up happening with, uh, with a lot of these content creators, is that they move over to another platform, and then they're not able to really retain an audience because you don't really retain like there are very there are actually I mean there are some people right but there are many people and this is especially true with me because I make a lot of YouTube videos there are people that just watch me on Twitch and then whenever I go offline maybe they'll watch somebody else on Twitch but the odds are they'll probably just go back to watching YouTube videos that's it or, or commenting on you know like some other shit or, or whatever so this is what happens with a lot of people but many people this is not an average viewer behavior on Twitch at, at a macro level what happens at a macro level is very simple it's that a lot of people they watch one streamer then they go and they watch another streamer and then after that they watch another streamer after that so what does this mean what does this do well it's very simple what it does is it creates a cross-pollination of channels it creates a community it creates an ecosystem so i think that it's very smart uh, how does this relate to saikuno some people are like why the fuck is he talking about this because almost all of the people in saikuno's ecosystem are already on youtube so like youtube would be smart to double down on getting the offline TV, uh, you know, like let's play Valorant together, that community. 
That is the smart thing to do. That's what they do. A incestuous platform, yes, in the best kind of way. So that's what really matters a lot. And and uh, so to from as well, Jordan Peterson, well, I don't know about that. Your credits comes for me too. I really only uh, I really on watch you and sometimes S Fan or Andy. If the three you're on online and Rich isn't too, I leave the website and watch YouTube videos. I think there's a lot of people that are like that. So, and uh, Ray is basically a torchbearer for YouTube streaming. It was Ray and Courage who were some of the first ones that moved over to YouTube. I remember this. And I think that YouTube, the reason why more people are willing to move over to YouTube now versus like Facebook or some of these other platforms is because YouTube has actually shown success. Because a lot of times, like with, uh, with like Ninja, for example, and like Shroud, et cetera, like a lot of people viewed their move over to Mixer as a retirement plan, right? Well, effectively now I'm retired. Uh, I just got a pay a paycheck of uh, you know ten million dollars. Uh, I don't need to do anything. I don't need to try to innovate my content. I don't need to uh, worry about anything. I don't need to keep grinding as much as I used to. Uh, all I have to do is just relax and just put in my hours, and that's it. I've always thought that Twitch's uh, Twitch's plan and idea with like oh you have to meet a certain amount of hours streamed a month is fucking stupid. Like, the amount of time that you... Quantity is not quality. I would rather watch somebody do a very good stream for one hour than somebody sit there and play a boring video game for eight hours. That's what I've always thought. You know, I'd rather see good content rather than just this uh, fucking repetitive bullshit. So, yeah, that's what I think. That definitely happened, too. Yeah, 100%. YouTube audience feels less engaged than the Twitch audience. Would you agree referring to LSF and meme making, etc.? Yeah, and I think that's probably why people are moving over to YouTube. <laughs> that's... You've got a very good point there. Yes, they are much less invested. Uh, I saw a lot of people, they were criticizing and angry with Saikuno. They were like, you piece of shit, Saikuno. I can't believe you. You were emotional about something, and I predicted that you were emotional about something that you weren't emotional about, and it turned out that I'm wrong? Well, I'm not wrong. You're an asshole for making me think something that was wrong. You know, that's it. People were upset. They were mad because there was a, oh, they, they thought that Saikuno overplayed it and they're trying to like dissect people's personality and, and like, you know, find the flaw in what they're saying or what they're doing. Fuck this. Who the fuck wants to watch that? Meanwhile, on YouTube, look at on, on TikTok. Remember Addison Ray started selling that fucking, what was it, like a blue light sunscreen so you can put it on your face while you're gaming? And, uh, you know, nobody complained about that. It's great. So, like, imagine being a content creator. Do you want a thousand fucking spurgs that are sitting there breathing down your fucking neck waiting for you to make one little mistake so they can hyperanalyze it and then cross and analyze it with your other seven mistakes over the last five years and then say you know what this is a shit person i hate them i hope they die i'm so glad whenever i go into their stream and i realize i'm banned because you know why i got banned it's because i told the truth who the fuck wants to do that like who, who, who wants to deal with the shit who would want to be like that yeah so like the twitch audience being more invested um you know, like, it's nice to have somebody that likes you, but it's not good to have a stalker. So you can always have too much of a good thing. And I think that some of the Twitch audience, especially the um, the terminally engaged uh, people in the Twitch audience, really do feel this way. The Jenny thing was borderline stalker shit. The Jenny thing was not borderline stalker shit. The Jenny thing was stalker shit. It was obviously stalker shit. To be honest with you, the uh, these... Like, it was, that's all, it w was. And so, Jenny, I mean, the thing is that you have people and they'll watch a stream like Jenny's stream and they will have, like, an emotional relationship with the streamer. You know what I mean? Like, and, and like, the, paras the parasocial, whatever you want to call it, explain the lore, please. Basically, what is the biggest drama that a girl can have online? What is the biggest drama? A boyfriend. That's right. That's right. That is the... I mean, she can uh, she can scam kids, sell fake cryptocurrency, um, view bot, uh, do anything that she wants. But don't you fucking dare get a boyfriend. Because people can watch 
and they could have this, you know, fucking parasocial girlfriend experience. But whenever the guy is on the camera and it's like in in their mind, it's like they're every second that they spend watching the stream is like they're self-cucking themselves on a daily, hourly, minute basis. So they can't deal with it. They get upset. This is their waifu. How the fuck did this guy get her? This isn't fair. He doesn't treat her right. She would be way better off with me. Why is she talking to him? He's a loser. Not like me. I'm not a loser. Wow. And this is what happens. We riot. Yes, exactly. Uh, that's uh, Yeah, she's our girlfriend. What's wrong with you? Don't take her away from us. And so this is what happens. But in truth, no, the thing is that I understand that like, I present these these problems in a very raw way. I don't sugarcoat this shit. I don't go and think, oh, well, you know, this might upset somebody if I say it this way. I hope it does. Because it that means that you are thinking about it. That means that it's fucking real. Because I think this is 100% what happens. So listen, that was specific. Listen, I've seen it happen with so many girls. I really have. And it's not, the thing is, incel mindset, cringe. No, it's the opposite. You see, what I'm saying is that I think they're the ones that are cringe. And I think that's why you have people moving over to these other platforms because they have a less engaged audience with their personal life and they can live outside of the stream without having that level of pressure on them. I think that it, that's the whole point. That's where I'm getting to. That That's, that's the whole thing that I'm saying is that a, a lot of other platforms have much less parasocial audiences absolutely to be fair those people should be removed from their communities yeah but like what happens whenever that's half of the community <laughs> you see what i'm saying like do, do you see kind of like yes it sounds like a great idea you'll like ludwig's take then yeah i, I i'm sure i will I, I agree with the yeah the channel dies exactly and uh no audience 90 percent of subs gone have any incels get mad at me so basically um the, the difference between incels getting mad at me and SJWs getting mad at me is about 30 seconds uh, in my stream. Like, that's about how long it takes from, like, one group to be, like, true, and then the other group to be, like, true. And, and like, that's basically it. And, uh, yes, the immersion is ruined. Exactly. And so, uh, what the hell will we do? Yeah, yeah, sure. If I get married, whatever. Anyway, what I'm trying to get out of here, I'm just, I'm just kind of talking and rambling at this point. Well, what I mean is that, obviously, a lot of people... That that lifestyle is very exhausting. It's very stressful for them. Now, I think that there are very few people out there who like having the uh, having that much uh, attention on them all the time and having to live their life in a certain way and having to defend themselves certain ways. Like for me, it, it can be exhausting, but it's not exhausting because of that. It's just I don't like people talking to me a lot, and so you know I need to take breaks because I just. I'm just tired of people talking to me. I, 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 I don't want anybody to talk to me anymore. Right, I just want to relax. And uh, I think you're going to see a lot more burnout with stuff like that because people just don't want to deal with it. That's all there is to it. Belle Delphine. Uh, I mean, Belle Delphine was different. I think Sonny made a really good video about that whenever we watched it. And I think he pretty much summed up everything just about right, man. So, yeah. I mean, in general, we can go back and talk about this a million fucking times. But what I'm saying is that I think that YouTube... Uh, I, I think YouTube has already had success cases of people going over to the platform and growing, so it makes people much more willing to try it out. But I think that YouTube is not really going to be a competitor with Twitch until uh, YouTube is able to uh, to attract people without paying the money. I think that's what it really comes down to. You seen the uh, the Doctor Disrespect uh, latest tweet? What did Doc say? Let me let me read out what Doc said. Let's see. Um, Doctor Disrespect. Um, I had to unfollow YouTube gaming. They don't support us one bit. Why would I support them? Ha ha ha. Such a phony industry I'm in. Well, I mean, I, I feel like you never really know what's doctor disrespect and what's, you know, what, what's not. So it's hard for me really to say. I think if Dr. Disrespect is talking about the discoverability and like being able to find streams, I think that he's 100% right. I think that YouTube somehow is even worse than Twitch. I, I can't believe this, but it's true. Uh, YouTube is somehow even worse. I don't know why, but I do think that it will be uh, it will be hopefully less of an issue over time, right? Like, I, I think they'll fix it slower, but it'll probably happen eventually. Uh, did you get the Shung guy that I sent you? No, sorry, Doc. I, I'm still waiting for it to show up in the mail. He's talking about how he doesn't get a contract from YouTube, uh, but forgets he has nowhere to go. Well, the thing is, like, the, the YouTube gaming... 
here's why. So if I was YouTube gaming, I probably wouldn't give Doc a contract either. So like there's a number of reasons why I wouldn't give Doc a contract. Uh, I think the main reason why I wouldn't give Doc a contract is because I don't know what happened with Doc and Twitch. Doc got randomly banned in one of the weirdest things that we have. A mi there's like a million levels of NDAs about, and somehow we still don't know what happened. That, it, I, I, it's like, if would you want to... Like that, that, yeah, that like is too controversial. I mean, it's no. I don't think Doctor Disrespect is controversial at all. Uh, I, I think obviously he can be a little bit edgy, but no, he's not controversial in any regard. Uh, so you just abandon him. Well, there's also like, it, it, it's not just that. Like it's a confluence of things. The other thing is that uh, that Doc he, uh, uh, what do you call it? He 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 can't go to Twitch. So there's no other competitor. Why? It's like Twitch wasn't offering people big contracts to stay and stream on Twitch until Mixer started doing the same thing. So why would somebody spend a bunch of money on something that they already have? It's just that simple. You see kind of what I'm saying? It's like, why would you ever even do that? What's the purpose of this? What are you gaining with this? And uh, probably some Illuminati shit. I think that it had nothing to do with anything, any of the Shungite or Illuminati stuff or, or whatever. Did you see Rumble video reply in the last tweet? No, I haven't seen that. Do you think it'd be beneficial for YouTube to split videos live and streaming? Uh, I think there'd be other ways for them to do it that would be much better. Yeah, I think so. Someone wants to stream now. Do you think it should start on Twitch or YouTube? Neither. Make YouTube videos. Streams at the very beginning are very hard to discover. And I think also streams are... If you don't have an audience to stream to, it becomes much harder to stream. Because you don't have anybody to bounce things off of. Like, for me, this was never a problem. Because, number one, my first stream ever, I had 200 viewers. Number one. Number two, uh, I had Zach and McConnell and, like, all of my friends that I would just, like, hang out with on stream even back then. I was basically chilling with the boys and people would just come in to chat and it was not a big deal. That's huge. Yeah, it absolutely is huge. Because, like, also, you have, like, if you try to interact with people and there's only, like, one or two or three people in the chat, some people might not even like that. Some viewers, they just want to sit back and relax. They don't want to talk and chat or anything like that. They just want to sit there and watch.